Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, July 7th. It's the sixth week after Pentecost, and week one in the Psalm cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 10, and Luke 23, verse 56, to chapter 24, verse 11. Please join me in singing verse 8 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Through watery deeps and fiery ways we march at your command led to possess the promised place by your O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, why do you stand afar, O God, and hide yourself in times of trouble? Alleluia, Psalm 10, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, why do you stand afar, O God, and hide yourself in times of trouble? The wicked in their pride persecute the poor. Let them be trapped by their own devices. For the wicked boast of their heart's desire, and bless the covetous whom you abhor. The wicked in their pride do not seek you. They think there is no God. Their ways are always devious and cause grief. Your judgments are far from their minds. They regard their enemies with contempt, and in their hearts they believe that they shall not be shaken, that they shall never suffer adversity. Their mouths are full of cursing, lies, and fraud. Under their tongues are mischief and vanity. They lurk in the villages to ambush the helpless. In the secret places they murder the innocent. They lie in wait secretly like a lion in his den. They lie in wait to catch the poor and to draw them into their net. They crouch and lie waiting to spring up, and the helpless fall beneath their strength. In their hearts they think you have forgotten, that you hide your face and will never see. O God, most high, rise, lift your hand, and forget not the humble. Why should the wicked condemn you? In their hearts they think you will not punish them. Surely you have seen the mischief and spite. You see it and require it with your hand. The poor commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the orphan. Break the power of the wicked and evil. Root out all evil till you find none. And rule over us forever and ever. The wicked shall perish from your land. O oh God, you have heard the desire of the humble. You strengthen their hearts, and your ears shall hear, to judge the orphan and the oppressed, that those of the earth may oppress no more. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Why do you stand afar, O oh God? and hide yourself in times of trouble. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 23, beginning at verse 56. On the Sabbath day they rested according to the commandment. But on the first day of the week at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared they found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they were, went in, they did not find Jesus' body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling white clothes stood beside them, and the women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to the sinners, 
to be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them to be an idle tale, and they did not believe them. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, let us not become the oppressors of the humble and the poor. Guide us in your way. Break the power of sin and evil in our lives, that we may place our confidence in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.